Norman Sloan arrived on the NC State campus in 1946 as part of Coach Everett Case's original Hoosier Hotshots. No one then could have imagined that the sharp shooting guard from Indianapolis, Indiana would later return to lead his alma mater to the greatest days of Wolfpack basketball. Sloan helped Case and the Wolfpack win three Southern Conference championships from 1947 to 1949 for a combined record of 40 and three in the Southern Conference. When NC State coach Press Maravich left with his son Pistol Pete to LSU, Sloan came home to his alma mater to start the beginnings of what would later become the crowning of champions. In his second year, State fans and the ACC got a taste of the resiliency that would mark Sloan's tenure in Raleigh when he squared off in the ACC tournament against former teammate Vic Bubis, refusing to alter a spread Wolfpack offense resulting in a final score of 12 to 10. Two years later, Sloan pulled off a coaching masterpiece against the number two ranked South Carolina Gamecocks, defeating the Frank McGuire led squad in double overtime to capture NC State's 13th conference championship. He was a game coach in reality. He was smart enough to play the right defense, the right offense, in whatever the situation uh, presented itself. We actually had less talent than some of the teams, but got more uh, results because of the coaching by Coach Sloan. In 1973, Sloan and his Wolfpack squad accomplished an unthinkable feat, finishing the season at a perfect 27-0, one of only nine teams in the history of college basketball to do so. Sloan's 1973 and 1974 Wolfpack teams steamrolled the competition for two years, outscoring the opposition by an average of more than 19 points per game. Can you believe that? As fierce a competitor as Sloan was, an often overlooked fact is his more human side. Sloan was a Sunday school teacher and had his players volunteer to help the needy. In the 1974 NCAA East Regional Championship, when David Thompson suffered what appeared to be a near-fatal injury. Sloan remarked that when David was lying on the floor, the last thing in the world on his mind was winning a basketball game. After I fell against Pittsburgh and had the concussion, everybody was real worried about me. We're in the locker room prior to practice and he's up on the bulletin board. During the time the movie The Exorcist was out, so I rolled my eyes in the back of my head and, and turned my head around. And, Coach Sloan almost had a heart attack. <laughs> he said, David, David, you okay? And he came back there and I bust out laughing. And, and so uh, he knew if I could joke about it, I was okay. But it was one week later when in a classic of classics, the Wolfpack ended the UCLA dynasty, defeating the nine-time national champions in double overtime before capping the season with NC State's first national championship. Following the national championship season, Coach Sloan continued to bring in the nation's top athletes, with players like Kenny Carr, Hawkeye Whitney, Clyde Austin, as well as recruiting three players from the Washington, D.C. area who would later bring the glory back to NC State that Sloan had established. Although he left NC State to return to the University of Florida, no one can ever forget Sloan's final mark in Raleigh soundly defeating the North Carolina Tar Heels in his final game at Reynolds Coliseum. Following his retirement from coaching in 1989, Sloan and his wife Joan returned to the Raleigh area and the Wolfpack fans they loved. He was a regular fixture at NC State football games and a mentor to former state coach Herb Sinda. Given his NC State pedigree, he was a natural to coach the Wolfpack. Given his multitude of accomplishments, there is no question that he is a Hall of Famer.